Hello, how's it going? Uh, my name is Angel Marmalejo. I'm here presenting for the class of Biology 185. Um, and I'm here to do my PSA on the devil's weed, also known as Jimson weed. Uh, basically, the devil's weed is a weed that grows in people's gardens all around the world. You can see this all around the world. Um, it originated in Central America, though. <clears throat> um, with that, uh, people who travel to Central America or newcomers around the area, um, you know, spread the seeds to their places of origin. And then that's how it started to spread around the world. Um, it wasn't used as a drug or used, used as, any, as a substance at all up until very recently. Uh, people started to use it as, um, as for medicinal purposes with, uh, with teas and such. Um, but a little bit after, uh, it's used for teas and, um, you know, it's, it's uh, medicinal purposes being used. People started to use it for getting high. Um, so people started to put the, you know, to smoke this. And um, this became, became very, very detrimental to uh, the person who smoked it. A lot of people started to have kidneys and lung failure. And um, it is very commonly known for people who smoke Jimson weed to have issues with their kidneys and lungs. Um, it is also very commonly known for the person to um, have, uh, have issues with uh, urinary retention, uh, nausea, vomiting, seizures, coma, and some rare cases have even reported death. Um, any, any drug that has any sort of death that can come from it is definitely a very, you know, it's, it's something that should not even be on the streets. Um, basically just kind of uh, some little information about the drug. The way it works is that it is a hallucinog hallucinogenic drug that uh, will leave the user tripping, well, tripping for about two days. Uh, it could be a little less than that depending on the dosage, but it will be, it'll leave the, the user feeling the, uh, some, some effects of it for about two days straight. Um, and uh, people also, people have also used it for medicinal purposes before. People don't just use it to get high. Um, and people usually use it by drinking tea or just ingesting the seeds. You can either drink them in the tea, like I said, or you can chew them. Um, besides that, um, you know, some things that happen because of this, uh, because of this drug in your body, um, basically the way it affects the brain is that it causes an increase in the activity of brain lipid peroxidase or peroxidase, <laughs> peroxidase <laughs> and catalyst. Um, and that's according to the National Library of Medicine. Um, I already named off some of the symptoms there, and it is very commonly known for somebody to have these symptoms as soon as they ingest a certain dosage of, you know, of Jimson weed. Um, the kidney and lungs are usually something to look out for in terms of issues when somebody has like an overdose or when someone has issues with that. Uh, it is a Schedule One substance uh, in the United States of America. And it is not given, there's given uh, no rights, no, no leeway, nothing like that in terms of learning how to use it and using um, and even testing it at all for any sort of doctors or scientists. Um, it is not for any usage at all, legal, legally. Um, this, it does not mean that it is not hard for people to get it. Uh, the issue with Jimson weed is that it is so abundant in terms of the plant, the, the mother plant that it comes from that people can make people can use it and it was and it's really hard to stop um <clears throat> it's very common to see to see uh the plant around a person's household uh well not around the person's household but outside of the person's household as a weed that just grows in the ground um now uh it's you know since because of that it is very important for us to have kids aware or you know, just people in general aware of what this drug can do. You know, urinary retention is not something light and having some sort of lung failure or lung issues because of the use of, of a chemical, of the chemical inside a plant that you don't, that you don't even know what does, what can do to you. Uh, there's, you know, there's no reason for us to be ingesting it. Now, that doesn't mean that, the medic that using it medicinally with teas and ingesting the seeds is a bad thing. You can always do that and that will not affect you that will not harm you, nothing like that. On the contrary, it will cure certain ailments, um, but that doesn't mean 
that we should just look into going straight to Jimson weed. There's certain ailments that can be cured with it, but only if used properly and by someone who is perfect, who is correctly trained to use that. But that is all I have to say on Jimson weed or also known as the devil's weed. Um, again, don't do it. Say no to drugs. And that is what I have to say. Goodbye.